Since becoming a mum, I've had to make a real effort to figure out comfortable, easy to throw on outfits that I can move about freely in, but I still feel like I'm wearing something stylish. Don't get me wrong, there are still many days where I only wear my active wear or I stay in my pajamas all day, but the days that I actually do shower and put on a proper outfit, I mentally feel a lot stronger and more positive. So in today's video, I want to share with you a few outfit ideas, but also a few lazy styling tips. These lazy styling tips are things that I do as a busy mum, always leaving the house in a rush. Before we get started, I'd like to quickly acknowledge that today is Mother's Day, and while it's a beautiful time to celebrate, I also want to express my thoughts for those who have experienced loss or fertility issues. I see you, I don't want this video to be a trigger, I want to acknowledge the isolation that can be felt. Please know that my heart is with you and you are not alone. I hope everyone finds comfort in this video as well as lots of value from these styling tips. Okay, let's get started. So my first few outfits are with denim jeans and then we'll move on from there. So if you don't wear denim jeans, you can skip to this timestamp on the screen. I know a lot of people don't find jeans particularly comfortable, so I wanted to share with you my three most comfortable jeans, which also happen to be the jeans that I reach for the most. Go figure. These first ones are the Everlane Cheeky Jean. These are the Nudie Jeans Clean Eileen. And these are the Nudie Jeans Breezy Brits. Here are a few outfits styling my most comfortable pairs of jeans. For me, these three outfits have been created from outfit formulas that I have made for myself and my own personal style. Having outfit formulas stored up in my brain is perfect for the days that I'm in a rush. Maybe jeans aren't your thing, but you've got to find your comfortable trouser. Preferably something that is a standout piece by itself. So all you have to do is throw on these trousers with basics and you're out the door really quickly. Here are a couple of outfits that I like to wear with these very old trousers that I've had for years. I was leaving the house with a friend of mine recently and she said something to me. I can't remember the exact words that she used, but she was basically saying to me that I went from looking like an at-home slob to a half-decent human being just by putting on some earrings and a necklace. And honestly, that is the truth. Jewelry has been my savior since becoming a mum because I can wear the most simple basic outfit at home, but quickly throw on some jewelry before I leave the house and it looks like I've made an effort. So with jewelry, it has to be bracelets that I can put on quickly myself. I don't need to ask for help putting them on and earrings and necklaces that are easy to throw on myself too. So my most worn earrings are my Monica Vinita hoops and my Linear Drop Pearls. Both brighten up any old basic outfit and are really easy to clip on. Another lazy styling tip that I love to do is throw on a hat. My Akubra hat is the best for transforming any basic outfit. I use this in the same way that I use my jewelry. I quickly throw it on and it looks like I've tried a lot harder than I really have. And it's also great for covering up dirty hair, which is something that I rock a little more frequently these days. And on the topic of grooming, that's my next lazy styling tip for you. Making sure you have your own quick grooming routine is perfect for when you are in a rush. Everyone's is gonna look a little different, but you have to work out what will make you feel the best. So for me, brushing my hair and dry shampoo is a must sunscreen and moisturizer for my skin I also can't skip and then I have to brush my eyebrows in place <laughs> honestly I could skip all my makeup but I always need to brush my eyebrows it's just my thing and then sometimes I also like to curl my lashes I don't necessarily need mascara but curling them just wakes up my eyes a little bit lip balm on my lips is the finishing touch and these are the things that I use in my lazy grooming routine Something that I do all the time, which takes zero effort, but I always seem to get complimented on is wearing a dress. Two years ago, I decided I needed some throw on dresses, dresses for every day that were really easy breezy throw ons. That's when I discovered Daughters of India and I started my collection. Wearing a beautiful flowy dress is my laziest style tip. A dress is a whole outfit. You don't have to worry about matching a top to bottoms. A dress is a finished piece already. You just have to throw on some sandals or trainers, some jewelry and leave the house. 
I think a tote bag is perfect for most casual outfits. They're great for when you're leaving the house in a rush because you can throw things in your bag without really thinking about the space. And they're great for busy mums as well. I've got these two tote bags which I alternate between outfits. Having a dark and a light means I basically have one that will match whatever I'm wearing. This next outfit I wanted to share with you because it's the perfect example of putting a comfortable outfit together in a rush. The other night, Alex and I were going on a date night, dinner and a movie. We got our son ready for bed and decided to leave straight after. And as you can imagine, we were in a bit of a rush. I wanted something that was comfortable for our Italian dinner. So I didn't want any trousers that would restrict my eating abilities. And then I wanted something cozy for the cinema afterwards. I knew I had to wear a dress, so I grabbed my black slip dress. It's so soft and comfortable and not tight at all. Then I threw on top my black knitted jumper, very cozy and comfortable as well. I added a rubber band at the front of the jumper to cinch in the waist and give me a little bit more shape. I had cozy socks and black boots on and I finished the outfit with jewelry. And I also used this large beige tote bag to hide all my cinema snacks. Do you ever open your wardrobe and say, oh my gosh, I have nothing to wear? If so, you will love next week's video. It is titled what to wear when you have nothing to wear. And there are so many more tips in that video. So be sure to subscribe for that. And if you missed last week's video, I also shared eight styling mistakes to avoid. So that is linked on the screen for you now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to spread kindness this week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.